Welcome back to Big Herd the Nerd and today's episode of The London Journeyman as today we are in November. So how have we got on so far? Mm, it's been good, we've not lost, but we're having a few issues. Today we take on Western Supermare, the game that was pushed back. The Seagulls, they're in second just behind us in the Vanarama National League South. And then we take on Truro. Yep, that one. Um, and that's a home and away game. Truro down in 12th, Western Supermare second. Ideally, want to win both. But scoring has become a problem with us. So let's, where do we leave you after the Billericay game? The win, 3 2. We then drew 3 0 against Dartford. Dartford, well, I mean, I don't know what happened. We didn't really turn up. Uh, we scored a couple of good goals that were lucky, but they, yeah, they just went at us and we could not handle it whatsoever. Defending was poor. In fact, Anthony Cook's goal was an absolute beast. So we were lucky to get that. So a 3 3 draw there. We then drew 0 0 against St. Albans at home. Again, just could not score. Played better this time round. Just could not break them down. Could not get enough shots on target to uh, to get the goal that we needed. So I'm a bit worried as we go into the game against Western Superman. I'm happy we're at home. That's good. But it's going to be a tough, tough ask. Uh, we're still sat top. 15 games played. 10 wins. 4 draws. 1 losses just against Concord early in the season. A 2-point gap on Western Superman. So a loss here and we could lose everything. Tomlin's still holding on to the player stats. He needs to score a few more to keep it up going on there. Vos in the assist, which is good. And Akinyemi in play of the match. Because sometimes he just pulls it out of the bag. In terms of squads and... In terms of squads? In terms of the squad and any trophies, we're on an unbeaten run in the Vanarama National South. That is a record for the Vanarama National South. So again, breaking records. And I've pissed the team off, which probably isn't helping as well. Um, they don't like how I'm treating... What's his name? Clunis. Now, Iron Clunis is moaning because he wasn't getting game time. I told him to shut up. Then I had a team meeting about it. And I, and I changed my mind in a team meeting. Never do that in this game because they all turned on me then because I changed my mind. They better you stick to it. Um, so we're going to have to play him just a little bit. I also realized that he is our, uh, if we look at the hierarchy, this is where I need to spend more time looking at things like dynamics. He's the only one at the top of the high line. He's the only team leader I have. So I can't, can't really piss him off. I should have just said, yes, I'll play you in some games. He's not terrible. Let's get back to him. But for like, so he's got good physicals. He's quick, so he can run. But he's not very good when it comes to crossing and dribbling, which is what I need him for. Um, so I'm a bit worried. He's, he's going to play mainly because, if I get through to the tactics screen for today's game, um, Cook was, he's only down at 89%. So we can give Clooney some game time. Um, Cook, I think he's been playing very well. He's got two goals, five assists this season so far. I'm actually quite enjoying Jay May. As a, like a super sub to come off the bench. He's 32. He comes on. He just seems to score for funsies. I've tweaked the roles up top slightly. Actually, and midfield. So we've gone for a pressing forward for Akinyemi and a poacher for Tomlin. Tomlin gets more goals. He's older. Doesn't have the fitness anymore. So, uh, he's, but he's finishing good. His first touch good. He's heading good as well. Um, so, going to try him in there. He's, he's got the mentals. He could, he should be playing a better role, really, than a poacher. But if we leave him up there, he's 35 now. He doesn't have to run. Just stay up top and try and get some goals. And then have Akinyemi as an attacking pressing forward. Because uh, he can do a bit more of the work. So, he's got good physicals. So, he can run around a lot. Got a good finish uh, on him as well. And determined. Got a good work rate. So, let's just get him running around Tomlin. Rather than the opposite way around. Where I was trying to get Tomlin to play the balls into Akinyemi. Let's flip it a bit and see if that gets us more goals. Leaving the wingers on support for now. I've brought Ferguson up to a support role rather than defend. So we're not too defensive. I don't think we have a problem. We've got our fullbacks on support. They're not getting too far forward and overlapping too much. So Ferguson, I'm going to push forward slightly. See if that gives us a little bit more attacking threat when we go forward. Because we just, we just lacked a little bit. So that's what we're going for. The team is mainly unchanged. We've got some trialists in. I had been... Um, scouting them but i don't think the scout reports work so well when they're trialists and they're at the club so i'm just going to bring all the trialists in so they get scouted whilst they're at the club and then we'll decide i can't really sign any of them because i'm still like properly over my wage budget we lost we're 1.3 million uh 1.3 million 1.3 thousand it's a lot smaller number uh, and in terms of transfers we lost one guy michael onovagwigan to east thurrock 
he he looks okay. He wasn't great. He was never going to get in. He had good potential, but I don't think we can go for potential players at this level. We just need to go for a team that plays, and that's it. Let's not worry too much outside of that, because uh, if we need better players later on, we'll just have to sign them. I don't have enough money to hold on to a big team of youth players. Uh, so unless they're going to come into the first team, I'm not signing them. I'm going to go first team only, just to try and save the finances. So that's a rundown of where we are for November. Started okay, we're still not lost. We want to hold on to the top of the league. Let's see if these tweaks will help us in game. See if Clunas can come on and give us something a little bit special. And today, we take on Western Supermere. So lining up with Edwards in goal, Dean Conti, Chambers, Magnus and Templeton as the back four, a very standard back four, five if you include the goalie, don't change them very often. Uh, Green, Vos, Ferguson and Clunis as the midfield with Akinyemi and Tomlin up front. I'm very settled on my team at the moment, so uh, that's good. Uh, going against a defensive 4-4-2, so that's good, we should go slightly more attacking, although they are second in the league. Um, I know that, well, you can see, they got slightly more attacking left-hand side, I think Plummer uh, from what our, our analyst was saying, we'll cut inside, leaving space for Rowe to get round. So we'll make sure we watch that early on and see if we have to do anything defensively. Uh, this side was more defensive winger. So pushing down the left may be difficult for us. But actually coming down this right-hand side, if we can get Clunas behind, we could catch them out. We could. So let's see how the first 20 minutes goes. We'll, we'll tweak the game in-game or tweak the tactics in-game. So let's go on. Um, let's go for a passionate. A passionate... I fully expect to win. Now it's too much. Great opportunity to show the plun the pundits pundits that they were right to back you. So we're at Champion Hill. It, it's not Champion Hill, but we're calling it Champion Hill for this home game in the dark blue and pink. Can we get uh, off to a good start here? Vos picks up the ball. He's been very very good for us. We'll keep an eye on the strikers. See if their role changes help. We are on extended highlights to give us a little bit more. I like to see the game. I want to play. The game a little bit more uh, make some changes in game and let's see how we get on so ferguson brings down the ball here big ball forward to akinyemi can he hold it up he can this is good roll from him tomlin should be making his way into the box getting on the end of those chances lovely ball by ferguson's the clunas what's he gonna do good ball back to templeton lovely swing in the box akinyemi's there and akinyemi's is offside oh dippo was he oh come on Come on, game. That was a good little bit of play there. Great ball by Templeton. Offside, just apparently. Okay, Pope now on the ball. Western Supermare coming forward. Kane. Ah, oh, you... Uh, Jacob Kane has just scored a ridiculous goal in the fifth minute of this game. What is going on? A short free kick. Who misses the tackle? That tackle was key. And then look at that. Pings it off the bloody crossbar. 1-0 down after five minutes. We lose our top spot due to an absolute beast of a goal. Harris now coming forward into Lucas. Let's get back and defend Harris. Good slide by Green. I like that. Oh, he didn't get the ball though. I'll take it back. Diallo into Kane. Lucas. They're getting a lot of the ball here. Plummer. A lot of the ball. Hmm. Guys. Want to do some tackling please? Corner's coming in now. Pope swings it in. Cleared. Green, get it down. There we go. Look up. Ball forward. Tomlin's on it. Hold it up. Yes. Good ping. Out to Akinyemi. Akinyemi's got... Can he hold it up? Men in the box. It's in. Oh, Fergus. Oh, come on. Someone should have been there to shoot. That's never troubling the goalie, is it? Never in a million years. Okay, they're anxious. They're not getting on. Let's go for a... Uh, don't wanna... Oh, God. Oh, they're 2 0 down. I was looking at the freaking shouts. Tristan Plummer scores. It came off the bar, I think. Oh, it's a free kick. Front and centre, off the bar. A goalie goes nowhere. Plummer reacts first, and we're 2 0 down. Right, show some passion. That sorts the team talk out. Diallo with another free kick. Fuck it. Edward saves this one. Oh, fucking time. Oh, first win in a long time. Our first win, sorry, our first loss in a long time. Looks like it's on the cards here. Unless we can pull something out of the bag. Both wide men playing terribly. One shot on target. Flunis now out to Templeton. Able forward. Get behind Tomlin. Yeah, he's behind. He's cut it back. Vos. Oh, what a save. How comes their goalie can save, but mine can't? 
We're, we're going to flick to positive. We are an attacking team. We're going to need to start playing more attacking. This Clunas puts it in to no one. Clunas not really shining uh, as he's come on to replace Cook for this game. Not really showing off anything, is he? In fact, he's playing at 6.5, so he's likely to get subbed. Uh, they're trying to play with a lower tempo. Well, let's kick it to them. Lucas turns and shoots. Good good defending there. The ratings are bad. I don't know whether that, that thing I've done with the team, the team is actually properly affecting us. So let's get in. Disappointing. So go aggressive. Where's your pride? You're letting yourself down. Get back out there. Two goals to make up. We can do it. We've done it before. Um, we just need to uh, work out how to do it. See how the, the strikers. There we go. They were closing down. We've got a corner. Good. Clunas in. Chambers is there. Into an empty net pretty much. Don't know where the goalie was. Michael Chambers gets his second goal of the season. Nyron Clunas with the corner. All right. Take it back. He's done something useful. Puts the goal deficit to one. Now that is definitely, we can come back from one goal down. Let's do it. Let's push. Let's give him a little bit of a push forward. Come on. Some of them are frustrated with me. Don't like it. Templeton's injured. Right. Camera is coming on. Camera. Uh, do we make some other changes now? So Clunas has baked himself up. Nathan Green is not looking great, but we can bring on Cook. And Ferguson's not looking good either. Let's bring on Cook. Can he play as a wing on the left? He can. What's an inverted winger instead? Cuts inside. We put him in as an inverted winger. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. He likes it a bit more. And because he's left, he must be right footed, isn't he? He's right only. So let's have him cut in. Let's go for the inverted winger. Essentially the inside forward, isn't it? But drop back. That's a good backup plan for us. Both strikers not doing the business. Another corner. Cook swings it in. Chambers again. Ah, oh, Chambers. Could have been a hero. Could have been a hero. Send it with minute. Let's get them off. Let's get... Let's get J-May on. Tomlin is the goal scorer. J-May has scored a few and he's come on as a sub. We've got 20 or 15 minutes plus extra time. Can we push forward? Let's step it onto an attack in. Come on. One more goal is all we need. A draw keeps us top of the league. They've gone defensive, clearly. We're down, down to the 88th minute. Oh, no. They're going to score. Good block. Oh, God. Will you clear the ball? Oh, Jesus. Defense, man. Pissing around like that. Oh, we're going to go into added time. Look at that. They're all anxious. Push forward. Why are you so anxious and frustrated, you bellends? Did I not push the button? Oh, 95th minute. Chambers. Oh. He could have been a hero. He's not. We're going to lose this. 2-1. The bloody Western Superman. It's all over. We've lost the top spot. Ugh. We got back in in the end. 11 shots, 6 on target. Should have done better. Nathan Green did not complete a cross in the entire game. Let down there. Assert, if you're not good enough. For, we need, I need to get them back on side. Bloody morale. So we've lost the top spot after 16 games. We're still two points ahead of Billericay and we've got a game in hand on them, so that's good. One point behind Western Supermare. They've only lost the one game as well. Damn, to Billericay they lost. Balls. They're having a good season. Obviously, there's a lot of spaces here for playoffs, but only one golden space that gets you straight through. I want that automatic promotion slot. I don't want to go through playoffs. Templeton's out for three weeks. That's not good. Ah. Oh, Jimmy Bullard's been sacked. Oh, Jimmy. He was only manager for a short while. Go back to uh, Soccer AM, buddy. Go back to Soccer AM. Okay, so we have our next game in five days, and I will see you back in five days for that game. Okay, here we are. Back for the Truro game. Uh, the morale is not looking good at the moment. I need to work on it. We need to get some wins on our belt. These guys we should be able to beat. We've been told to go attacking. So I've taken that into, into the formation. So I've made some slight tweaks. We're going to play on a positive mentality just to start with. We can tweak it up if needs be. Uh, in terms of in the actual screens himself, I'm knocking off the overlaps because the guys don't really overlap anyway. So we'll knock it off. We'll go um, with just that, with just the overlap and then focusing down the wings. Uh, in terms of transition, we're going to distribute the fullbacks, try and keep the ball as we go out and play out from the back because uh, they have got a good cross on them. They can cross early. So if they get the, the fullbacks, get it. Uh, and then they're like around here trying to pump it forward. We should have more players going forward. Uh, and then in here, leaving it on a higher line because I want to keep the, the strikers up on the defenders. And I've got them pressed more urgently. Might change that. 
after. I'm not sure. I might push the lineup. Not sure. I've got old defenders. I don't really want... Especially the way the game works at the moment. I don't want them running on over with balls over the top and we get beaten with having too high a line. But at the same time, they seem to score long shots anyway. So, pff, swings and roundabouts. Uh, we're going to leave Clunis in to get some game time. Uh, I've also flicked him onto an attack duty. So, we have Vos and Clunis as attack. Green and Ferguson on support. Leaving the fullbacks and the, the defenders at the moment on support and defend. Not tweaking them. So, each line does their job is how I'm kind of going for it. No other real changes to make. Templeton's out with his injury. So Sanchez Ming comes in. He's the guy that's here from the beginning. Uh, so hopefully we'll do a good job. He looked all right until I brought Templeton in. And I'll have a look after this game at the, uh, a few of the trialists. See if they're worth their salt. But like, I can't really bring them in yet. One interesting thing has happened. Uh, Justin Edinburgh has been sacked by Leighton Orient. Leighton Orient are one of the teams we could move to. Uh, they're not doing well at the moment. They're in the Vanuatu National League, so it would only be a one step up, a one league jump if we were to jump ship. They're currently sat at 17th. They're doing all right, 19 games in. It's not like they're down in rock bottom, but, you know, it's one thing to think about, isn't it? We've got Sutton in there as well. Sutton, Leighton Orient are in there. Dagman and Redbridge we could go to as well. Got a few teams in this Vanuatu National League if we need to, but just... Just a note, I don't think I'll move, obviously I'd like to do at least a, a season, but Leighton Orient would be a good one. I'm quite interested in a save of Leighton Orient, but I'll wait, I want to wait until I start getting suggested for some of them before I start throwing my name around. I don't want to get fired, like, partway through this season. So the team is as good as the team is going to get, I think. Out we go. See if we're slightly more attacking duty, slightly more attacking play, we can make more chances earlier on in the game. Get some goals. Miss some goals. So, both playing with a flat 4-4-2. Uh, we've got Edwards in gold. Dean Conti, Chambers, Magnus and Ming as the back four. Green, Vos, Ferguson and Clunis as the midfield four with Akinyemi and Tomlin up front. Uh, going against the 4-4-2 of Truro. They've got Rooney up top. Different Rooney. He's Ginger. Ginger Rooney. Lewis Rooney. Top goal scorer of eight. Hoping that Tomlin can pull his finger out and start scoring some goals again. We'll keep an eye on their performances. It might be worth changing... Formation uh, or changing roles again if they don't seem to be making anything happen for them. But by pushing wingers on, I'm hoping we give them a bit more support. So let's get into it. Let's go for a calm. It's all over to you guys. Have a good one. Mm. Fans. Mm, 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 mm. If we play a game or win, you're very capable of that. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, seem demotivated. Come on, guys. How can you be de demotivated by such a great team talk? I believe. Oh, God. They hate me. They hate me. So, we need to get the morale sorted. Otherwise, maybe we will be looking to go to Leighton Orient because uh, we'll get fired for having the team hate us. Point to note going forward. Herb, look at the dynamic screen. Learn your players and where they sit. Rooney here coming forward. Oh, Ginger Rooney. He plays a lovely ball into Smallcomb. Edwards with a brilliant save. That was... You don't normally save those in a uh, in the Vanderham National League sound. So they've got a free kick, a free kick, a corner here, sorry. Dean Conti clears. Green brings down. Big ball forward to no one. Not good. We're looking complacent already. We need a win here. I know they're not playing well and they hate me, but a win will get us on side. Or get them on my side, at least. Free kick here for Truro into Cop, into the central midfield. Out to Big Knot. Big Knot. I can hear me getting there. There we go. Hit on the counter. Go. Ah, it was a shite ball, but Tomlin's got it. He's got men forward. He's put it in. Ferguson's brought it down. He's laid it off. Clunis has scored. Is he offside? He is an offside. Nerian Clunis gets his first goal of the season, assisted by Nathan Ferguson. That's what we wanted. Go out in front. Tomlin does a good job here. And I like everyone got forward. I don't think I've got counter on. But we have four men in the box. Clunis with a lovely left footed strike. Have we got counter on in transition? No. I was going to turn it on, but I decided to leave it out. Seems like the guys already have it in. I suppose that positive that positive uh mentality already pushes them towards that that when we get the ball we want to attack williams here goal kick big goal kick out unchallenged which is not good Pittman plays it over the back rooney's there goalie's there edwards wins well done edwards don't let ginger rooney get in front of you can he clear he can that's not what i told him to do is it kick give it to fullbacks so he kicks it to the strikers nice to know the guys are listening to me williams clears Rooney's won it. Ferguson's got it back. Lovely play by Ferguson. He just does his job very well in that centre mid. As Ming plays forward. Akinyemi heads down to himself. Oh, oh, Tomlin. 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 You're my top goal scorer. Corner now. Ming. In it goes. Chambers back post. 
Saved by Williams. Chambers has done well at those, but he's still not the best. Williams is going to clear now. He's going to clear big. He has the, the, the highlight is still going on. Magnus cleared to Pittman. Clunas has got it back now. Is this a counter? Tomlin. Can he find Akinyemi? He's inside. He's, Tomlin. What are you doing, buddy? You've, you've, your performances have fallen off a cliff. Harding. It's still going. This is the same highlight. If that's how it ends. That's a long highlight for it to end with a lazy header. Tomlin's playing at 6.8 as well, somehow. I don't see it, personally. Midfield aren't having a good game. Chambers now. Deep free kick. He's not very good at them. Vos. Oh, he's got it inside and Green's shot is blocked. That is unfortunate. Good. They've cleared long. That's what we wanted. We'll get the ball back. Akinyemi now with a free kick. Oh, he's at the post at the near. Come on, guys. Second goal before half time. Let's make this game ours. Again, Edward's not listening to me. Pumping it way too far forward. Ferguson. No, I don't know where that was going because that wasn't going to any of our players, even if it didn't take the deflection. And Pittman is now behind. Edwards, it's on you. What a ball that was. Pittman's cut it back. Ginger Rooney's got in and it's 1-1. That was a great bit of play by them. How do we not read that at all? Pittman's got the run. That's why I don't want to bring the defensive line forward. And they've scored a freaking FIFA goal. You can't get them to do that in the Premier League. How are they doing it in the Van Arama National South? Right, good Ed. Can we get the ball back now, please? Cop. Small comb all the way out to Riley Lewis. Ah, this is not good. Harding inside the pitman again. They get a lot of space, considering we're on close down more. Small comb out to Thompson. They're overloading here. Can we get the counter back, please? Pitman, cop, matches it right over. We want to counter. That's what we should be doing. Is when we get the ball back, going for it. Akinyemi is not having a good time. Oh, 2-1. Come on. Free header for Jamie Richards. We go 2-1 down to Truro. They're freaking 12th. What's going on? Ball goes in on the corner. Why is no one jumping with him? This makes no sense. And that's half time. <sighs> Safe to say, I'm not happy. They've played much better than we have. Again, like I said, I expect to see a much better performance. What is going on with all of you? You're not playing well. You're not playing well. You're not playing well. And you lot are not reacting as well. Assertive. I'm not happy with your performance. You're losing confidence. What are you doing? Get out there and play football. Bloody Clunis. He's come in here, moaned, and pissed off the whole of the team. We were on a beautiful little streak. Everything was going well. I can hear me now. Oh. Long free kick. Saved. He's not playing that well, though. Green's disinterested, so let's get him off. Let's get Cook on. We'll get him playing as a as an inverted winger. Let's actually whack him on attack as well. Get him forward. Vos is anxious. We'll leave Magnus. Sanchez Ming, we can't really do it. So let's get Carew on. I like Carew. And let's just get J-May on. J-May is a target man or a pressing forward. Put him on support. Tomlin, can you do... So you can be a target man, a pressing forward poacher. But he does like being a DLP. Let's whack him as an advanced forward. He needs to do more because the poacher, he's not getting in there to be a poacher. He's not on the end of the chances. Oh, corner now. Clear. Good clear. Cook, clear someone. Get in there. Rooney's got it down. You're letting this Rooney get away with stuff. Can't believe we're letting him absolutely just... Crucify us right now. Cop. Good block. Harding. Going man outside. Cops there. Look at them. They're playing around. We're not getting anywhere near them. Big Knot. <laughs> His name just makes me laugh. Look. Yes, we're not even getting close to the ball. Guys, you want the ball. What is going on? Get. No. Get stuck in. That's the one hot. Throw the tackles in. You just literally let them pass around. We need to get the ball back. We're losing. Edwards. There we go. Out to Ming. This is better. He that. See? This is what I wanted. Th they listen to me. We score a goal. They distribute to fullbacks. The fullbacks have got good crosses on them. Gavin Tomlin gets his 12th goal this season. Sanchez Ming with the assist. And we are at 2 2. This is what I wanted. This is why you must listen to me, you little shit. Look at that for a ball from Ming, though. That was pretty spectacular. And Tomlin's strike, yes. Much better praise.
Don't get, how can you be overwhelmed by praise, you freaking idiot? 73 minutes. Come on, let's get the win. Let's get the W. Tomlin. Oh, he built himself up for that. He properly took the run up and freaking just smashed it wide. Jay May, you want to come on? You want to score? You want to show me why you should be in the first team rather than just my substitute? You've got 10 minutes to do it, mate. I'm going to attack him. I'm going to turn the, just turn the screw for the last 10 minutes. See if we can take this game back into our hands. Come on. One highlight is all we need. One highlight. They're frustrated. We're composed. Come on. Three minutes of out of time. There's not been a freaking highlight. Here we go. Dean Conti with a throw. Cook back to Dean Conti. And it goes Tomlin. Get in. Yes, come on. Headed it against the bar. Jesus Christ. It dropped down and just sat there. We'll go back to a positive. Come on. Gavin Tomlin finally scoring again. 13th goal. Two goals today. Look at this, man. He puts it in. Tomlin heads against the bar. It just hits the goalie and sits there. Puts it in from two yards. Gets his goal. We go 3-2 up. Come on, we're a minute over and we've got the highlight. Blow the whistle with. Blow that whistle. Final whistle goes. Come on. Tomlin back in the goals. Clunis with the goal as well. 3-2 to Dulwich. That was hard fought. Uh, today we were, we were put, no, what a comeback. I'm, I'm happy. Well done. I need to get the morale on side. I need to be nice to them because, you know, they don't like me. But that puts us top. Oh, they've not played their game, that's why. Two points top. Of the league. Western Supermare to play their game later. Hopefully, Who are they playing? Hampton and... Oh, they could be playing anyone. Hampton and Richmond. Chelmsford. Let's hope it's Hampton and Richmond. But yes, we need to start like fighting them off a little bit. Because if we come second, but by like a couple of points, and then we're 10 points clear of someone else, I'm going to be really pissed off. 35-year-old journeyman striker. Gavin Tomlin. Two goals. Passionate. You were superb. They are the changes I'm going to make to the tactic then. Leave them as it was at the end of that game. And we have one more game for November to play Oxford City to round out that month. As then we come back into the December period. Uh, what is the December period like? It's not too bad. Game on the 22nd, game 26th, game 29th. It, it could be worse. Who are we playing? So December, we have Torquay, who are in 5th. Hemmerhenstead, 20th. Gloucester, 21st. Eastbourne, 16th. And Slough. I tell you what, we might actually come back for the Torquay game. They're going to be the ones that are closest to us. Uh, and then Hemel Hempstead is a, is a little uh, club not far from where I'm born in Milton Keynes. So uh, that'll be a fun one to come back for. Home game against Torquay. Game against Hemel Hempstead over bottoms. So hopefully we can get some win. And then Gloucester should be an easy game. Eastbourne, easier game. And Slough 8th. Should be a good December for us. Um, obviously, not having to worry about transfers. We can do what we want. And then, yeah. We've got a good couple of months coming up, I think. Good couple of months. Chance to get some more victories in there. Keep our grip on the league. But I will leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to Big Herb the Nerd, welcome to Big Herb the Nerd. Go and check out everything else that is around here. I am Big Herb of Big Herb the Nerd. But thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button as usual. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you back next time for some more London Journeyman action. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.